Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. Recently I received a request from my YouTube subscriber asking how to create a Windows update patching compliance report for a specific group of Intune managed devices. So in this video we will walk through exactly how you can fetch the Windows update compliance status or a target group of devices. In a previous video, I already covered how to create a patching compliance report for all devices, both manually as well as through automation. Now, imagine you are managing Windows update through Intune and you have set up different update rings such as update ring 1 for pilot devices and update ring 2 for broader production environment. Each ring targets a specific group of devices based on a criteria like department, location or testing phase. At this point, you want to verify if these devices are actually compliant with the update policies you have deployed. That's where my patching compliance reporting comes in. It helps you identify which device receives the update, whether they have installed successfully and if any are outdated or experiencing any issue. So let's get started. So to create the Windows Update Patching Compliance Report for a specific group of Intune Managed Devices using PowerShell, you have to download the PowerShell script and I will provide the link in the description section. And in this script, you have to update the user input section. You have to update the tenant information, client ID and the client secret. You have to provide the working folder location and you have to provide the group object ID against which you want to pull the patching compliance report. So for the tenant, client ID and the client secret, I have already created a app registration. And let me show you this in my Andra portal and update the required values. So if you go to the Entra portal and go to the app registration and click on view all application in the directory, we can see that I already have an application called Intune. And within that, we can see that the, this is my app or client ID. This is my tenant ID. So let me copy the tenant ID first and update the PowerShell script. This is my tenant ID. Then this is my client app ID. And then we have to create a client secret. Let me go to the certificate and secret. And then click on new client secret and click on add. Here we have the client secret. Let me copy the value and update the PowerShell script. Now we have tenant ID, client ID and the client secret. And let me show you the API permission. If you go to the API permissions, we can see that I have only two permission. The first one is device management, manage device read all permission and the group member read all permission and the permission type is application. And then we have to update the working folder where you want to create the report. In my case, I am okay with the CM folder. And the last one, we have to update the group object ID against which we want to pull the patching compliance report. So let me go to the Intune portal. And if we go to the devices, and if we go to the Windows by platform and go to the Windows update, and go to the update ring. Uh, consider the scenario where you want to pull the report against the demo pilot uh, update ring. And we can see that we have deployed this policy on this particular group. Let me copy this group. Go to the groups. And then search for that particular group. And then we have to copy the object ID. Let me copy the object ID. And then go to the PowerShell script again and update the group object ID. So that's all we have to provide 
in the user input section and then we have to select the entire script click on execute the script and now the script is going to extract the report from the Intune now we can see that in our group we have 8 members now it is extracting the Intune inventory report and now it's downloading the Microsoft patch list And now we can see that the report created successfully. We have eight devices in our group, but in Intune we can find only seven devices. And again, seven devices, one device showing compliant, and six devices showing non-compliant. And the overall patching compliance is fourteen point two nine percent. This is a location where you can find the report. And if you open the report. We can see the detailed information about the report like installed KB on the device, the patch type is patch Tuesday update, installed KB release date. This KB article is released on 11 March 2025. This KB article is released on 11 March 2025, and this KB article is released on 9 May 2023. These are the compliant status. This is the device not patching since 10 days this is the latest patch required on this machine this machine is already compliant and these machines required these patches and these patches released on these days so that's how you can create the patching compliance report against a specific group using powershell script i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video